What's going on YouTube? So today I wanted to bring you a video um, based off of these two pumps that I have sitting in front of me. <clears throat> Obviously pump has a very big following and a lot of people are really partial to what markers they own. Um, some of the biggest ones that you'll find obviously are CCM or the Bob Long MVP. Uh, very high end, high quality pumps. Um, I'm not going to get into the Empire Snipers, the KP3s or Cocker Builds. These are the two markers that I have sitting in front of me. Two markers that I wanted to talk to you about today. Um, obviously, both of these markers have been around for quite some time, um, but there aren't a whole lot of videos on them that I've noticed. And that's why I wanted to make one for you guys to give you some thoughts on pros and cons of what I like about each of them. Um, first, I'm going to start with the barrels that come with them. This is the CCM barrel that comes standard with any CCM. And these are your sizers that you get with the CCM barrels. This is a 677. This is a little too small for the paint that's around me. But I'd rather talk about the, um, the length of the barrel sizer. This is two, maybe two and a half inches. Um, one, so yeah, probably about two and a half inches uh, a si of the sizer here. That's not a really long control bore. Now, when it comes down to um, accuracy with the paintball marker, obviously you have to have a good paint to bore match. You have to be shooting high quality paint, and you, I mean you have to have a con you have your marker has to be consistent, but. With a small control bore, you're kind of at a disadvantage with making that happen. Um, I personally think the sizers, even though they go from a 6.75 to a 6.90 with CCM, I just find the sizers to be um, kind of useless. A lot of people just put new barrels on them to use, and then obviously the sizers are for resale purposes if they're going to sell them. Then you have your barrel tip. I believe this is a 14 and a half inch barrel, maybe 15 inches even. So you're looking at a 12 inch barrel tip here. Um, I, I just find that pointless. I feel like CCM should make the sizers at least, at least four, maybe five inches of a control, control bore. I would love to see six to eight, but that's my, that's a big gripe for me from CCM. Just the fact that your control bore and in your sizer is just so small. Now when it comes to the MVP, this is not, excuse me, the stock Bob Long MVP barrel. This is from my Dragon G6R, but this is the same barrel that you will find with an MVP. The MVP, if you're getting newer ones, will come with a two piece and the older ones will come with a one piece. 685, that's what you're getting. With the two piece or the one piece, your control bore size, your control bore is five inches. This is a five inch control bore. It's a lot better than a two and a half inch control bore. Um, this is a 685 barrel back as stated. Uh, that should be suitable for pretty much all paint that you're going to be using. It's not going to be the best size back, but it's going to be a size back that you can use. Um, with a six inch control bore, you're obviously getting a little better, um, I guess, quality not necessarily quality, but you're, you're just getting, um, trying to find the right word to say, but with the, with, with a five inch control bore, I just feel like you're going to see improvements in your shot as opposed to just having a two and a half inch control bore. I would, like I said, prefer a six to eight inch control bore. I think that's what every marker should come with. Um, I just think that a six inch control bore at least should be standard. Well, let's get into the pumps. So this is my T2F, T2 full body um, pump that I got from CCM not too long ago. I have not used this yet. So it is, um, I mean, I have screwed tanks into it, but there's no air in them. So it's technically brand new in my eyes. And then my MVP, which is used. What I'd like to do is first line up the CCM and the MVP so you can get an idea of the size comparison. And let's see if I can 
There we go. So as you can see, the CCM not only sits taller, but the um, MVP is also longer as well. Um, I did a rough estimate, and I would have to say that the CCM is right around an inch taller than the MVP, and the MVP is an inch longer than the CCM. So when it comes to sitting in the hands, I prefer the MVP because it sits um, kind of like a speedball gun, which, I mean, I've grown up with speedball guns. That's what I've used. Uh, it, it sits, and I just feel like it points better downfield when I'm using it. When it comes to a CCM, I mean, even though this T2F is new, I've had plenty of CCMs in the past, and I realized that I've had to adjust um, uh, my playing style a little bit just to how tall these markers sit with a hopper on them especially um, and how they point downfield. So I would definitely have to give the advantage to size on the MVP. Now, I'm going to switch these around so the macro line's out of the way. All right, so let's start with the bottoms, with the ASAs here. Uh, the Bob Long MVP comes with the cam drive ASA. You find the cam drive on any bobs that are 2012 and newer. It's super easy to use. It's just a little twist the bottom, twist it, and it airs it up. With the CCM, also very nice MVP. It's turnstile on off. I have to give the advantage to the Bob Long ASA because of the sole reason that the CCM has a macro line. So if you're trying to adjust it from the left-hand side here, it's a little uncomfortable. Um, the macro line's a little obtrusive, and I just find it a little hard to turn. Um, obviously, with the right hand, it's not as bad. But when these markers are gassed up, they're not this easy to turn. So I definitely give the advantage to the MVP. Um, simply because the cam drives on the bottom is more user-friendly, in my opinion, and there's no macro line, um, which is another gripe that I have about the CCM. I'm not a fan of macro line markers at all, um, even though if they do have leaking issues, they're very easy to diagnose because it's usually from the macro line or from the fitting. Um, it's just personal preference. I'm not a fan of macro lines. I love CCM pumps. I think they're very, very high quality, but... I'm just not a fan of the macro line. Um, for the sole reason I've had uh, CCM fittings go bad. Not necessarily, not necessarily the fittings are going bad, but the O-rings inside the fittings with your housing, then you have your, um, your collar here. Take your collar out. There's a little O-ring that sits inside, and they have to be replaced. It's very easy, but if you don't have the O-rings, it can be an issue. With the MVP, since the regulator goes through the grip, um, I just find the, um, I, I seem to not necessarily have less issues because I haven't had issues with either. I've only had issues with one of my CCMs. I haven't had an issue with the MVP, but I just like how it's macroless. Um, it's not obtrusive. It doesn't get in the way. Uh, and I just like it, the gaster grip. Um, I would like to talk about the trigger frames now. So the frame on the MVP is a 45 degree frame. Again, excuse me, sits nice in the hands because it sits like a speedball gun to me. With the CCM, the frame is thinner and this is an 86. Now with the CCM, you can get either a 45 degree frame or an 86 degree frame. Um, I personally prefer an 86 frame. If I could get an 86 frame on the MVP, I would have. Um, the 86 just fits better in my hands, it feels better in the hands, and I just prefer it altogether. Um, I'm going to move to the triggers now. The trigger on the CCM is very soft. It's a very soft trigger pull. It's light and it's very crisp. With the MVP, the trigger pulls are about the same length. But the pull on the MVP is not as crisp. It's a little heavier, requires a little more force to obviously pull it. Not hard. Um, you know, it's not a hard trigger pull. It's, you know, you don't have to grip it real tight, but yeah, I'm just saying it's, it's heavier than the CCM. I just find the CCM to be lighter and more crisp. Now, when it comes down to pump strokes, the pump stroke on the CCM what I like about the T2 
is that they run off of dual pump arms. Then you have the guide rod. This has the quad rod. And then there's an internal spring in the pump handle. And that's what plays the big part in the pump stroke and the return is the spring. And then um, obviously it fires. The pump stroke on the CCM is very smooth. It's a very smooth um, stroke. Uh, it, let's see if I can, that's where it activates right there. So you don't even, I mean, it, it actually stops right after its activation point. Um, and then it fires very smooth pump stroke with the MVP. I'm not saying the MVP doesn't have a smooth pump stroke, but it takes a little more force to cock it back than it does on the CCM. So. It does have a smooth pump stroke, that's where it activates, and then you can still push it back more. Um, so, it, I mean, it is a smooth pump stroke, but I have to give the pump stroke to the CCM, I just find it to be smoother. The MVP pump stroke, you have two little pins in the back here with springs, um, and then you have your pump arm that runs through the body that runs off of ball bearings. Now, the ball bearings are very efficient. Um, they work great. They don't wear. Um, you know, they, it, it really makes the pump stroke to be smooth. But I personally find that the spring assist of the CCM pump stroke with the dual pump handles to be a little smoother. And then again, with the trigger pull, it's more crisp on the CCM. Another thing that I would like to point out on the MVP is the pump handle. I find the pump handle to be small. It's, it's pretty small. Um, the grooves, I think, are kind of unnecessary. Uh, it's got grooves in the pump handle there. I find it to be a little unnecessary. It's not uncomfortable. I just don't feel the necessary need for them to be there. Not only that, but before, this pump handle actually has grip tape right here. I you can take it off. I took mine off because it wears your hands out and it wears gloves if you're wearing them, your thumbs if you're auto trigger. I mean, it it, sand, it feels like sandpaper and it's gritty and it hurts. Um, it can really do some damage to your hands. So I peel mine off, peel mine off because I just didn't think it was necessary. It's not necessary. They should leave it off. CCM pump handle. This is an easy grip handle. Um, it, fit, it obviously fits better in the hands. Um, I think it, it's made nicely. It's very, it's comfortable in the hands. Um, I usually wrap my finger around the front. Um, and it's just a really easy pump stroke with the CCM, or I'm sorry, with the MVP. It's not as fat. It's thinner. The grooves are just unnecessary. I'm not saying it's an um, uh, uncomfortable pump handle. I just favor the CCM pump handle. Now I'm going to talk about the maintenance. When... You break a ball in the MVP, if you break a ball in the MVP, you have to, from at least what I've experienced right now, I'm going to see if there's a different way, but I really don't think there is. You have to take the grip frame off. There's two screws here. You take the grip frame off. Um, you remove the pin and the springs here. Pump handle comes off. And then there's a little gap right underneath here. And you just pull back and this whole engine here comes out and then that way if you have a break in the breach you take a swab run it through and you're done if that happens on the field there's no way you can break your marker down on the field to clear a break in the breach it's impossible you're going to lose a part um you're going to rush and do something you're going no i'm not even going to say you're going to rush because it's stupid if you take this part on the field you're going to lose something um or you're going to get shot out. This is going to take you for not forever, but it's going to take you more time to take it apart, clean it, and put it back together than somebody is just going to run you down. With the CCM, obviously you just have the bolt pin. Bolt pin comes out. The bolt itself comes out. And then you have full access to the breech. Run a swab through it, and you're done. I just favor that that aspect of maintenance more on the CCM than the MVP. Um, 
if there is another way to take this out without having to take the grip frame off, I'm going to find a way. But when you unscrew the back cap and you take the part, you can take some of the parts out. It doesn't remove everything. Um, it doesn't remove the housing of the bolt and bolt assembly. <clears throat> I just find that to be strange. I do. I just find that to be a little strange that they didn't make it more user friendly if you have a break and you have to clean it on the fly. Next, I would like to talk about adjusting the velocity. I'm going to favor in favor. Um, this is in favor to the MVP. The MVP, there is a little hole, if you can see that, in the back of the grip frame. And you turn it, obviously, left or right um, to adjust your FPS. Put it over a chrono, shoot some out, let it uh, break in a little bit, readjust itself, re um, tweak it again, fire it until you know, you're shooting at your field's limit. <coughs> Excuse me. With, and I just find that to be more user friendly as opposed to the CCM. Since the CCM is built off of a cocker base, you have your IVG in the back here. Take your cocking rod out, and there's a little space where you can put an Allen key and you adjust your IVG to change your FPS. But not only do you have to adjust your IVG, you have to adjust your HPR to correspond with your IVG. Pretty much, called, they call it sweet spotting or balancing your reg to your IVG. So you're shooting consistently over a chrono. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. If you don't have a lot of experience doing this or if you don't know how to do it properly, you can be shooting very inconsistently over a chrono. Um, and then obviously you get better at it as you, you uh, do it more and more. Um, and then, you know, there comes to a point where you don't have to do it anymore because, you know, you set it to, you sweet spot the reg, you set it to where it has to be, and you shoot. But that is just more time consuming than simply taking an Allen key, sticking it in the back of the trigger, um, in the grip frame, adjusting it, and putting it over a chrono. Okay, so next thing I'd like to talk about is actually the um, auto trigger. I touched on the triggers and the trigger pulls, but I never talked about the auto trigger itself. I like the auto trigger more on the MVP than I do on the CCM. I like the fact that the auto trigger on the MVP is internal. So pull the trigger down, fire away, um, and that's how you're auto triggering. There's no external uh, necessity or part that is going to make the auto trigger happen. With the CCM, it obviously has the auto trigger lever right here. And that's what makes it auto trigger. Now, if you take this lever off, you can't auto trigger anymore. Um, you take the lever off, you take the screw out here. That's it. A lot of people do take them off because a lot of people don't feel the need to auto trigger. I keep mine on for the necessary case when I need to use it. <clears throat> um, this part worries me a little bit. I feel like if I make a nasty dive or, um, you know, catch it on something, I don't know, but I feel like this can just f like fly right off, snap, um, bend, or if it'll come off and you go to use it and you just see it spinning, you maybe get lost. I don't know. Um, I've never had that happen to me before, but it, it always runs in the back of my mind and worries me a little bit. Um, I tried to take my auto trigger lever off of my J6 and I didn't realize that the screw here was Loctite from the factory. So when I went to turn it, it completely mashed my auto trigger lever. And I was devastated. I mean, I, I just got that marker in. Um, and now the auto trigger is destroyed. I had to pry it back out and it looks terrible. It functions and it works, but it looks awful. Um, luckily for me, CCM has fantastic customer service and they sent me the part for free. So thank you very much, CCM. I greatly appreciate that. Um, but that, it worried me when um, I first did it is how durable are these little levers? Are they gonna hold if you make a bad dive or if it gets snagged on something? So that worries me. That's why I prefer the internal auto trigger as opposed to the external on the CCM. 
Now I would like to talk about, let's see, I ran through the bolt, brief maintenance, not going to do maintenance on either of them. Talked about the height and the length of each marker, but let's talk about the fee neck. The fee neck on the MVP is the fee neck that you'll find on any bobs. It has the lever clamp, which is great. The CCM doesn't have that stock. It's still a clamp, but you need to use it, an Allen key. You can buy a lever for them, but they're pretty pricey, and they're sometimes kind of hard to find. Um, not only that, but your CCM fee neck sits very tall. Um, as I stated earlier, how the length and the height was about an inch longer and an inch shorter, uh, an inch longer in length and an inch shorter in height on the MVP. When you have a 50 round or a 100 round hopper on here, sometimes I even run my spire, it's very low profile. It sits very nice, it sits low in the hands. That's what I like about it. When I'm putting a 50 round hopper, 100 round hopper, or a spire on here, your setup is tall. Um, <clears throat> again, I have to adjust that for a, a better field view. It's not anything that's going to make or break somebody buying one, but it's just something that I realized. What I would like to do now is talk about pricing. Let's talk about the price points real quick. The MVP is, I believe, $700 retail for the base color and an accent color. So pretty much two colors. And you get your stock barrel, either a one or a two pace, 0.685. Um, some spare part, a really small spare parts kit. <coughs> Excuse me. A box and some extra springs. With the CCM, the base model, it's one color, no aluminum grips, no CCM fittings, is $600. Now, if you want two colors, 625, three colors is 650. If you get a two color CCM with the aluminum grips to match and the CCM fittings, it's $697 plus shipping from CCM. So let's just say $700. That is the exact retail price point of the MVP. Now the MVP, if you wanna get it custom colored, which they do, they do splashes from the factory and you know different colorways that can run you anywhere from eight to 50. The sizer kit from MVP, I, or I'm sorry, from CCM, I believe is an additional 100, maybe $120. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I personally wouldn't get a sizer kit. I don't use the stock barrel in general, um, but they're good for resale purposes if you ever do decide to resell it. But I find the CCM sizer kit to just kind of be a waste in my opinion. Um, in the with the packaging of your S6, your T2, um, your S6.5, <clears throat> excuse me, or even with the T2F and the J6 that I have, you get the box, the barrel with the sizer, you get a CCM patch, a little spare parts kit, and Allen keys, and a barrel sock. So a little more than what you get with the MVP. Um, if you do get you know, a cool anno from CCM, it can still run you that $800 price tag. The T2Fs and the J6s, your J11, your J12, your J2Ls, they're all markers that, some of them aren't made by CCM anymore, but they're all markers that are gonna fetch a very different price tag than your S6, your S6.5, or your T2. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, T2Fs, I've seen anywhere between 825 and 950. I've seen J6s anywhere between $800 and $1,000. I mean, they, they do have different price points based off the limited amount of runs that they're making. Not So I'm basing my price comparison off the basic S6, S6.5, and, st and standard half-lock T2 um, compared to the MVP. The price points at a new range are pretty much the same with two colors, <clears throat> the aluminum fittings, uh, I'm sorry, the aluminum grips on the CCM and the CCM fittings. The MVP comes with bob grips, which I have over there. These are just standard panel grips that I have to change out. Um, you do get two colors. You get the stock barrel in a 685, which I think um, has a little more use than the uh, two and a half inch barrel sizer that CCM comes with, as opposed to the five inch that the MVP comes with. But <clears throat> 
when you're looking at these markers at a price standpoint, they're both very high quality. They're both made in the USA. They both use very high quality aluminum and they're built with care and with quality. You can't go wrong with either of these pumps. It's just not possible to go wrong with either of these pumps. Some people prefer Cockers. Some people prefer an MVP, which the MVP stands for a Mark Victory Pump. It's built off the Victory platform, obviously with no electronics. The Victory platform of Markers has been around for a while and it's very, very um, reliable. It's a very reliable marker, the electronic. So you can only imagine that the MVP is a very reliable pump. Um, last thing I want to talk about before I put barrels on and tanks on to kind of show you how they look downfield is the bolt. The bolt in the CCM is Durlin, I believe, which is a very high quality, plasticky type almost. CCM's been using them for years. Uh, many marker companies use Durlin bolts. They work fine. They work great. I prefer the bolt, excuse me, in the MVP because the bolt in the MVP is brass. Brass in paintball markers, the, or in general, the more you use them, the more they break in and the more they don't wear. They get better with age. They get smoother. They get silkier almost. They operate more efficiently. And it's going to move in the breech um, a lot smoother. It's going to be smooth on brittle paint. Um, I just prefer the brass bolt just because when they break in, they get better with age. So what I'm going to do now is put the barrels on them. I'm going to put the barrels that I use on them, not the stock barrels that you find. This is a Stella barrel, Inception Stella barrel. Um, insert barrel back has a 689 insert in there. I need to get a smaller insert in there. And then the whip tip. Really nice barrels. If you don't know much about Stellas, Stellas are actually my favorite barrels on the market. I would highly suggest taking a look at them if you're looking for an aftermarket barrel. The fact that you can bore the back and the front is great. Um, <clears throat> not going to get into it a whole lot, but this is a 697 front with a 689 back. Most paintball markers, if you have a 689 back, you're looking at like a point. 0 0.700, 0 0.701 barrel front. It actually makes a big difference. So definitely check out the Stellas if you don't know a whole lot about them and if you're looking for an aftermarket barrel. I use a glass fiber boomstick. Sorry, there you go. I use a glass fiber boomstick on my T2F because it matches and I'm kind of a matching person when it comes to bright colored paintball markers. Um, so obviously this is a purple glass fiber boomstick with a purple gloss T2F. Um, <clears throat> but I like the glass fiber boomsticks and the boomsticks in general because this is still a six or seven inch control board. It's still, and it's a six, eight, four barrel back. It's still more effective than a two and a half inch control board. But what I like to do is just hold these a little bit at an angle. So for me personally, the T2 if you have a hopper on here, it's going to be sitting about this high. For uh, My spire will be sitting about this high. 100-round uh, hopper is about here, 50-round hopper is about here as well. It still has good field view, obviously, but <clears throat> I just don't find it to point downfield as nice as the MVP. Um, you know, coming up, running off with it. Um, I do have to adjust uh, my playing style a little bit to how tall the gun sits with a hopper. When it comes to the MVP, since it sits more like a speedball marker in the hands, it's a little more compact. With the Spire, it only sits about this high like a normal speedball marker does. I feel like when I'm pointing down range, it's just, I, I just find it to sit better in the hands. And, I feel like when I'm, if I'm running off a break, running and gunning, and I'm pointing down field, I just find that I have a little more control as opposed to the T2, um, just cause it sits higher with everything equipped to it, the hopper and the, and the tank. <clears throat> My overall conclusion of either marker is the fact 
that you can't go wrong with either of these. If you're in the market for a high-end pump, the MVP or the CCM is a fantastic choice. They're both made in the U.S. They both use high-quality parts. They both have good customer service. They are both made with um, pride. I mean, CCM and Bob Long take a lot of pride in the markers they put out. Um, and you know why? Because at $700 price point for you know, the CCM or the MVP, it's a high-end price point for a pump. You expect a lot out of that. And they both deliver to the extent um, in which you would want them to deliver. I mean, I have my gripes about both of them. I have my pros about both of them. But at the end of the day, when you're going to buy a pump and you're looking to spend, you know, either in that used market between 450 to 600 or that new market between seven to a thousand dollars, even you can't go wrong with either of these. You're going to like majority of the stuff about them. You will find gripes, but you're going to like majority of the stuff about them. Um, take my opinions on both of them with a grain of salt because everybody has their own personal preference. But like I said, if you're looking to spend the money on a new pump or even a used pump and you want that high-end feel, you don't want to build your own cocker, you don't want a low-end pump, you want a CCM or an MVP, pick both of them up if you can. But if you can't, just narrow it down to your own personal preference. If you want a macro line, if you don't, if you want the um, HPR and the grip frame or if you want it in front of the trigger guard, if you want to balance your reg with your IVG or if you just want to set it and go, if you want easier maintenance, go with the CCM as opposed to the MVP. I guess on the fly maintenance, I should say. Um, a better stock barrel, the MVP. You know, there's just so many factors that you have to weigh into it. But at the end of the day, if you buy the MVP or if you buy the CCM, you are going to be happy with either of them. So if you have any questions please feel free to comment. I will respond to them. If you have any questions, you know, about anything, just <laughs> feel free to ask me. Um, not necessarily anything, but, you know, about paintball, anything paintball related, feel free to ask me. Comment, like, rate, subscribe, whatever you guys need to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I shed some insight on the MVP and the CCM. Um, if you have any questions on stuff that I did not answer about the two markers, please feel free to contact me. I will be sure to get back to you. Appreciate your time. I know this is a very long video, um, but if you watched it all the way through, I really do appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.